Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna be setting up your iPhone right here. And it doesn't really matter which one you got, which color you got, or even which model you got. It's gonna be the exact same instructions for all of them. So let's get started. So first of all, this video right here is made for those of you who had an iPhone before. So we're gonna be transferring your information from one iPhone to another. Now, before we get started, you could take out the SIM card from your old iPhone, put in your new one. You don't have to at this point, you can do that later on, even when we're done doing the transferring of everything. However, I do suggest doing that first. So with your new iPhone, you got this. You can use an earring, by the way, if you lost this for some reason. To take out the SIM card of any iPhone for that matter, you're gonna see this slot. It's usually beside right here, the volume keys. You just have to press down. Again, you can use an earring for this if you don't have this. And then it's just gonna pop out. So your SIM card's gonna be in there. SIM card's not the same thing as an SD card. An SD card, you can hold memory in there and uh, it's just external storage, right? SIM card, in the other hand, is where your phone number's at. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna transfer this to the other one. We're just gonna put it here for now. We're gonna put this here. Some people tell me that your iPhone should be off for this. I've never turned them off to take out my SIM card or put a new one in. Never seen a problem. However, if you wanna be cautious, turn it off. So once again, it doesn't matter which iPhone you've got to put a SIM card. It's really easy. You just have to take out this tray, put it in our nano SIM card that we have from our old phone. You could get a new SIM card, don't have to. Depends how old your phone is or when's the last time you got your SIM card. Sometimes it's nice to get a new one, but uh, your phone number can stay the same, by the way. You don't have to change it just because you changed your SIM card. We're just gonna press this down and there we go. So that was the first step to our setup process. Next, we're just gonna turn this on. Make sure your other iPhone is not on airplane mode. It has Wi-Fi, so you're hooked up and Bluetooth should be turned on. Anyways, on your new phone, just hold on to your power key, which is the same thing as your Siri button. You're gonna see an Apple logo. Now your old iPhone, just make sure it's right here. Make sure it's turned on because you're gonna see messages popping up here. But anyways, we're just gonna leave that phone on the side for now. We're gonna move on with the new one. Scroll up. We're gonna choose English, Canada in this case, quick start. That's what we want, quick start. So we're gonna leave this here. Your phone, your old phone, this old phone, new phone. We're gonna go into our old phone. We're gonna swipe up. You're gonna see this, set up new iPhone. This is what you want. So you're gonna go on and unlock to continue. Right now you should see a screen like so. And after that screen, you're gonna see this. That's because they detect each other, right beside each other. You just have to, right here on this screen, on your new phone, scan it with this, so with the camera. So we're gonna place it right on the top. We're gonna look for that. It's getting things ready. And for the rest of the process, I'm just gonna turn off my lights so you guys can see a little bit better of my screen. But right now, you should see your email up there, which is your Apple ID, and just go on and set up for me, unless these for your kids, but it's most likely for you. So just set up for me. Now on your new phone, you're gonna see this. Enter passcode. So what passcode is it asking for? Well, it's asking for the passcode that you used on your old phone. So just put it in. Once you do that, it's gonna be setting up your iPhone. That's right. And on your old phone, you should see this. Finish on the new iPhone, keep this phone near. So yes, that means you should keep this right beside it. I keep them just like so. And although you should just transfer some stuff up, it doesn't transfer everything just like you think you should. So things like Face ID, you're gonna see this message right here. So we're gonna go on and tap on continue and just set up your Face ID just like you've done it with your phone. If uh, you had an older phone that didn't have Face ID, then this would be new to you. All you have to do is just move your head uh, in a circle, just looking up, sideways, down, and then the other side. Uh, I'm gonna teach you right now anyways, get started. I'm just moving my head up, down, in a circular fashion, and we're done. Now you can use mask or no mask with Face ID. I would suggest mask just in case you have to use a mask at some point. Use mask, which means you're gonna have to set up your Face ID again. It's just gonna ask you to do the same motion. Then we're gonna go on to continue. All right, so you can choose to download from iCloud, which I don't have that much information on iCloud. I have free, so that means I only have five gigs stored on iCloud and that's it. I never would pay for that storage anyways. And right here, I can just transfer from my phone directly. So I'm gonna teach you that because I think that's the fastest way anyways. So we're gonna go on with this. 
So even if you have your stuff stored on iCloud, you can just transfer between phones without that. So we're gonna go on and press agree. We're gonna make this our new iPhone, that's right. So we're gonna transfer our app settings, all that stuff, continue on, and here we go. Yes, it's gonna transfer your pictures, videos, contacts, uh, everything, pretty much everything from it. So let's continue on, continue. I'm gonna share with Apple, you guys don't have to. I'm gonna share with app developers, you guys do not have to. We are gonna continue on with this. And yes, since there is an update, we do have to download and install. I'm gonna choose your seller. So at this point, it's gonna take actually quite a while to download the new latest update. Make sure your old iPhone is up to date. Uh, this wouldn't work anyways if it wasn't. And right now, it's just gonna install the software. All right, so this would be the normal thing that you should see when transferring information from one phone to the other. It's not supposed to be stuck there without telling you a reminding time or something. It's supposed to tell you exactly how much it's gonna take. You're gonna have to see that bar and then just let it be right now. You can just let the phones and then come back to them later on. All right, so after just a little bit, if you just left your phone there, you should see something like this on your old phone. So it will tell you transfer complete. And on your new phone, you should see your background. So this was my background that was from there before. Everything should be there. I'm gonna swipe up. It's gonna swipe up and everything should be here. It might ask you for passwords for, for example, your emails, but that's about it. Other than that, everything else should be here. If you go to your pictures, videos, everything should be there as well. So I'm just gonna double check and yeah, all my pictures are there and we're all good to go. Anyways, that's how you guys can transfer all your information from one iPhone, that's my old iPhone, to the new one. And no, right now your old one Always, people always ask me this. What happens to your old iPhone once you are done transferring everything? Well, all you have to do is just click on OK. And then from here, it's going to tell you that you want to erase this phone. You don't have to do it now. You can do it later. But once you transfer your information over, you don't have to erase. You can keep both with the same information. Or you can just erase this one. So that way, you can go on and just keep using it or erase it later. So let's say I accidentally said, not now, let's not erase everything from here later. Well, I'm gonna have the exact same apps right here from this one on this one. So you guys will see that everything is the same thing on my old one and on my new one. And when I'm ready to erase everything from my old one, I can manually go in here. I'm gonna get that message to erase this phone, but I can do this if you guys didn't see that into transfer reset and from reset I can go into erase all content so usually I do that once I verify that in fact everything's here which it is already but again you do not have to so you can close this up and keep using your two phones at this point but anyways as far as this video goes we're all done if you guys have any questions comments you guys can write down here in comments area don't forget subscribe and like thank you